Hey guys, Kachi here, a.k.a. Delacaba. I'm here in Hirschfeld in, in my goose blind, planning on seeing what I can do about taking some airborne geese with the new 22 Plinkerton. I've been having a blast with this. I miss a lot because I'm getting a, a feel for the windage and stuff, but I'll tell you what, I've had a lot of fun. I've knocked down about a dozen of them here over the course of the last, oh, I don't know, 45 minutes. Then I got to thinking about it, maybe I should record it. <laughs> so I've uh, set up my bandicam and got my goose call and everything ready to go. And we're going to see if we can knock some down with the Plinkerton. So I'll be back when the geese come in. <coughs> There we go. I'm really disappointed with the speed at which this firearm shoots. I gotta tell you, this is supposed to be a semi-automatic, and it's about as the same speed as a pump shotgun. And that's kind of disappointing. You know, why Why does my uh, 20 gauge here go boom, 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 but this thing goes pop, pop, pop. That is something I think the devs really need to address. You know, everybody's complaining because at first it, they were treating it like it was, you know, silent. Jeez, I don't even know where the hell he'd come down. You know, it, I mean, it was one of those things where uh, it had such a small spook radius. You know, and a lot of people were disappointed when uh, they changed it so that it had, you know, kind of a middle spook radius. But to me, that's, you know, I, I prefer the realism. However... Uh, why does it shoot so slow? I mean, this is supposed to be a, a semi-automatic. It should just pop, 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 pop. I should be able to clear the uh, ten-round clip and nothing flat. Good gracious, I have no idea where he come down. I think I was shooting in that direction. I guess we're going to have to go see if we can find him. But... What got me started on this, you know, is uh, a lot of times there's a competition for, uh, you know, taking a goose at the longest range. And I thought, well, you know, maybe maybe I could manage to... Wow, where did he come down? Did he come down in the other field over here or what? I honestly have no idea. I'm got to tell you honestly, I don't. I'm not sure which direction I was facing, so I don't know if he come down over here or there he is. Curious to see what the range was on that shot. Let's see here. All right, distance 99.5 meters. What more can you ask than that? We're going to miss this group of geese, but there you go. Almost a 100-meter shot with the Plinkerton. And I tell you what, that's a lot of fun. You know, at those kind of ranges, I miss an awful lot, as you can tell. Oh, a mushroom over there. But uh, it's a lot of fun, you know, when you, when you get your timing right and you knock one down, it's definitely time to giggle. But, yeah, that's my only complaint with this firearm. I don't know if it's the... It, it can't be the, the speed of the, uh, good lord, where the hell's he? He's way out there someplace, I guess. Oh, he's back over there, huh? Oh, we missed this group of birds, but, yeah, that's my only complaint with the Plinkerton, is, is that it, for a semi-automatic, it's slow as a molasses in January, and, and that's just, to me, that's ridiculous. It should be, it should be lightning quick. They, that's the way they sold it, you know, as, oh, it's lightning fast, you know, for them rabbits and all that. But 
There you go. Almost just shy of a hundred yard shot with the plinker tin. But uh, that's what that's what got me started on this was, you know, uh, you know, contests, you know, uh, for the, for taking taking geese and mallards at the longest range. And I noticed the people who consistently win do so with the little twenty two pistol somehow. And I thought, well, geez, let's see if you can hit a airborne with this. And uh, the answer is yeah. Um, so far, like I say, I've taken about a dozen of them. And I'll shoot up a whole clip in the process, but I sure wish these darn guys would fly by close enough for me to take a few more shots. Um, I've got a little bit of footage, I'm sure, that I'll get here knocking down a couple of them, and I'll certainly throw it in the video. But for now, I'm going to pause the recording, and hopefully I'll be able to get some geese come in, and I'll be able to knock down a couple more for you guys. But I'll be back in a minute. Alrighty, I think we got these guys coming in. Yeah, here we go. Let's see if we can get a couple of them to break off and... I hope I remember to reload the darn thing. Oh yeah, there we go. Flasheroo! You gotta... Oh, come on. Darn it. There we go. You gotta kind of get your angle just right, and it can be tough. But it's a lot of fun, like I say. It's a heck of a challenge. I shouldn't take shots way out there. I'm wasting rounds, but I'm just curious how far this thing goes, you know? So I'm wasting a lot of rounds finding out. Gosh, I don't even know which direction I was facing. That's the only thing with knocking them down with this is they come down so far out that it's kind of hard to figure out where they are. Wow, which way was I facing when I knocked him down? I think I was facing this way. Let's see. Here, goosey, goosey, goosey. Oh, oh, yeah, there he is. Okay, as long as I know where he is. We got a few more coming in here. Let's see if we can knock knock one more down before I go here. Where are they? There they are. Oh, they're quite a ways out. I don't think that they're actually going to gonna break off. But, yeah, you can get some amazingly long-range shots on them. So far, my best is knocking down three of them out of a flock, and that's what made me realize I should probably fire up Bandicam and record some of this. Yeah, we're not going to get those guys to come in. Let's go collect that fella. There he is. Yeah, I'm not, I'm no dead-eyed dick, that's for sure, but if I knock one down, I'm just tickled pink. Oh, you're not too bad looking a bird. What you got here? 5.5. Uh, 5. Hit to the body. Sweet. The very first one that I knocked down, I made sure and take myself a trophy shot just because I was so amazed that I actually knocked one down. And, and I think as time goes by here and I knock down more of them, I'm going to get better and better at it. But I think it's kind of a fun way to get my, you know, 25 kills with the Plinker 10, so we'll see. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to see if I can manage to knock down one more. Let's see. We're loaded up, right? Yep. We're ready to rock and roll. Reloaded our shotgun. We got my 44 with me just in case we have a close encounter with a, with a wild boar. But, all right. I am going to get myself hunkered down and hopefully one more flock will come through and I can knock down one more for you guys three times the charm. But alrighty, I'll be back. Oh, I do believe I see a little something that needs a shooting. Boy, shooting this thing standing up sure is tough. Oh yeah, he's a nice one too. We got geese coming in. Hold on. 
I'd love to pop that pheasant, but I want to see if I can plink one more of these geese. And I think I'm probably going to shoot that pheasant if I got any rounds left. Now I've thought about trying some shots just as they're flying over rather than trying to call them in. But I haven't tried that yet. Uh, here we go. Yep, how slow this firearm is is just ridiculous. Come on. It should fire so much faster than this. To the point where I'm pulling the trigger. Well, anyway, as you can see, it's possible to knock them down. Alright, so I gotta remember they're that way. Now, where's that darn pheasant? Where are you, bird? Not sure where you went. I need two pheasants to hit one of my one of my achievements. Raise my hunter score. I suppose it's too late for me to... Oh, no, by golly. Oh, he's over by my tent. You rotten router, you. Trying to steal shit out of my tent. Yeah, he's over there somewhere. But there you go, so... When you when you got the sh the them flying straight away from you, you can take some pretty good shots. But let's go collect these guys, and then I'm going to call this a... Uh, a video because I've got some things I got to get to in the real world here but just wanted to show you guys what I was doing to have some fun here and I got to say it is a blast and see I think we got one laying over here oh mushy room By golly. Had to pop off them last two rounds just for the fun of it. I knew I wasn't going to hit anything, but... Alright, here's Goosey number one. At a distance of 69 meters. That's pretty cool. And... Where is Goosey number two? I have no idea where he came down. Oh, there he is. Got that nice bright red. Set. Ooh, he's a pretty good looking goose. What is he? 65. Yeah, 6504. All right, 92.1 meters. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, guys. Well, that was a lot of fun. Like I say, you can shoot up a, a bunch of shells awful fast if you're a half-ass shot like me, but... Some of y'all out there who are pretty amazing shots, I got a feeling that, that you could literally take a goose with every one that you, that you fire up. So I hope you'll grab your Plinkerton and slap your scope on and have yourself some fun and knocking down some geese with it. In the meantime, this has been Delacaba, a.k.a. Kachi, here on The Hunter. You know. See if I can call these guys down and see how, just how bad I can miss with this 20 gauge. One last round, the last hurrah of the Golden Horde here. Nope, it looks like they're going to keep going.